Leslie, if you take any longer, the bar is gonna close. I know. I just can't find something that really works. What about your New Year's dress? <laughs> yeah, right. That was five months and several tacos ago. <laughs> So you're gonna wear jeans? This is what I have so far. And it's not like they're gonna let me go topless in the bar. I don't know, Ooh. you might you might get us some free drinks with those puppies. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I These? think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You think yeah, so? I like that. Oh yeah. <laughs> what about that black v-neck from last February? The one that you wore to that anti-Valentine's thing? You scored that night, so it must be lucky. It was a lucky night for all of us. That guy was weird. He was weird. Was, he was he had like very a me weird. fetish and and his name was he... like that. It was almost on a German, like a like a Han, like a Han, like a. Like a, like a, like a huh. That's not. Cute. What do you do to a knee? This, this I love oh, that. Cute. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. How about this? Here, here. Mm. Oh, all the way down. down. All the way down. Mhm. Mm you know, guys. I, I don't really feel like going out tonight. I'm sorry. Why the hell not? Because I feel like I'm one donut away from completely busting out of my jeans. I feel disgusting, and I'm just not in the mood for petty sex from a drunk stranger. What are you talking about? You look cute. Yeah, well, compared to you two, I look like the lumpy little lard ass that just needs to go home and sit with the movie and her sweatpants. Everything you just said makes me want to punch you. You are not allowed to have a self-loathing night. This was supposed to be about your snapback. Well, instead, can it be about my self-pity, isolation, and healing before my snapback? Is that what you really want? Yep. Fine. But you're snapping back next weekend. You get a free pass because you're sad. Mm-hmm. Hey, you're beautiful. Can I come? Seriously? You can't even give me one second. What do you want, Matt? Please, just just give me five minutes. All I want to do is talk, please. <sighs> so, <laughs> Netflix and chill, huh? What do you want? Look, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I, just, I was wrong. And I was just hoping that you could forgive me. It's not that simple. You can't just tell me that I give horrible head or that the flab on my stomach is distracting during sex. Do you have any idea what that can do to a person? Last month you told me I smelled horrible. And then you expected me to be intimate with you just hours later, what you say to a person when they're their most vulnerable can leave scars. In fact, I didn't even, I didn't even want to go out tonight because the flab on my stomach was just too distracting with my outfit. No, you, you know I didn't mean I'm it like that. I'm not finished. I loved you. And I did everything you ever asked of me, ever. I listened to you as you told me these horrible things about my body and I believed you. I fucking believed you. When I look in the mirror now, I don't even see someone I recognize. I don't deserve that. So you can take your toxic fuckboy nonsense and get the fuck out of my apartment. Get the fuck out. Go. Please, just five minutes. I just want to talk, please. Netflix and chill, huh? Yep. So, uh, do you want to watch that new Lake Slasher movie that's on right now? Yeah, sure. Okay. Ugh. 